from, it's native to West Africa and it's grown in, only can grow in South Florida because that's the only place that's warm enough to grow it. And so how it works, it contains a protein called miraculin. And the way the protein works is it, by, it binds to the sweet receptors in your taste buds. So one end of the protein binds to the sweet receptor and the other end's open. But it doesn't trigger your sweet receptor, so when you eat the miraculin, it doesn't taste sweet. But the open end of it binds to acids. So when you eat anything sour, like you know, grains with apples or vinegar or lemons, the acid will bind to the open end of the miraculin and that will trigger your sweet receptor so your brain senses sweet even though you're eating something sour. So it works with acids. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work with bitter foods unless they're acidic and bitter, but it's it's acids that make it work. So um, my grower, I actually I found a different grower than the main one because the main grower had a two month back order. Oh my <laughs> like God. Good and Good job. We wanted to do this now, not in two months. So I found this other grower, he's smaller, but half of, most of his crop was destroyed by maggots. So we got, <laughs> we got what he could salvage for us. And there was one and a half fruits per person. And from everything I've read about it, from what my grower told me, that sounds really shady, my grower. <laughs> My mirror. My dealer. Uh, <laughs> Your <connection. laughs> My contact in Florida. <laughs> um, you can cut the. You can. All you need is a really tiny piece of it. You just need to make sure to get it all over your tongue. So, what, we, what, what I propose is that for the first round, I'm going to cut the fruit in half, and everyone will get a half, so that everyone can get three rounds of the fruit instead of just two rounds. Instead of doing a whole fruit and then a half, so you can maximize your the time that you're under the influence. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's true. We're tripping. What? Yeah, exactly. There's going to be a knock door here any day. Oh, and one more thing. So. For the first round, I suggest that you not eat any of the cheeses or anything that's fatty because the protein is fat soluble, so when you eat fat, it'll come off of your tongue and it'll kill the sensation. So what I suggest you do is just eat the other things and see how long it lasts. And some people last 20 minutes, some people last an hour. So if you're noticing that it's starting to fade after a half an hour, the second time around, maybe after like 20 minutes, you can eat some cheese just to maximize the time that you have.